48 way down there. Seventy-eight. Thirteen miles per hour. In this video, I'm going to explain how the radar gun works, and we're going to open it up and take a look at the inside. The sports radar gun you see here is made by Bushnell, and the model is Velocity. This radar gun is low cost, only around a hundred bucks, and you can use it to clock how fast a tennis ball, baseball, or even a car is going, up to two hundred miles per hour. Just like other radar guns, the smaller the object, the closer you're going to have to be to the object to get a speed reading. Depending on the profile of a vehicle, you can expect at least a quarter of a mile and up to a half a mile if you're trying to clock how fast the truck is going. So if you're dealing with a Corvette, you're going to have to be much closer, probably one quarter of a mile. And if you're going to be targeting an SUV or a truck, you can expect one third to possibly a half a mile under ideal conditions. This one here has a very comfortable grip. To take the reading you just point, give it a quick click, and the opening right here has approximately a 25 degree angle that the beam is going to be coming out of when it measures the vehicle's speed. To calculate the speed of a moving object that's going away from you or coming towards you, radar guns use Doppler shift. To understand how the radar gun works using Doppler shift, the first thing you need to understand is Doppler effect. At one time or another, we've all been standing outside, heard a siren in the distance, and as it approached, you could hear the sound of the siren change, and as it zooms by and heads away from you, the sound continues to change. That's Doppler effect, and you can hear it right here in this example. When you squeeze this trigger, microwaves are generated on the front side of this radar gun, aiming towards the target. When those radio waves strike the moving object, they're going to be reflected back to the gun. The gun is going to calculate the shift in frequency between the radar that was sent at the vehicle and the radar that was received coming back. There's a microprocessor inside the radar gun that does the calculation in a fraction of a second. The radar gun works proportionately so objects coming at you or going away from you can be measured. This radar gun I believe is an X-band, meaning the frequency that's coming out of the front is going to be around 10 gigahertz. So if the frequency that leaves at 10 comes back higher, that means the object is coming at you because it's going to be bouncing back faster towards the gun. If the frequency shifts lower from the transmitted frequency, that's going to indicate that the object is moving away from you. This model here, you could set it to kilometers per hour or miles per hour. This Bushnell Velocity uses, inside here you unscrew this, two C batteries. Over here you can see the display. When you push this button it turns it on and you'll see miles per hour on the far right or kilometers per hour. Okay, let me pop this open so you guys can take a look at the inside. Okay, eight screws have been removed, four from the handle and four from the top. Okay, here we have a very simple spring-loaded switch. Makes contact right there. You have the small board. There's another board here that has the LCD display and a microprocessor I'll show you in a minute. Over here is the radio frequency section. You're going to see more when I separate it but this is all metal. Inside here you have the microwaves generated directed into this cone shaped antenna also known as a waveguide. The microwaves come off the end bounce back and get collected in the same tube where the microprocessor interprets the speed and then that speed is displayed on the LCD screen. Right here is a plastic cap on the end still so I'm going to pop that off like this. That's all it is, plastic. If you look all the way inside the antenna to the back, you're going to see the two or three little openings. That's where the electromagnetic radiation is going to be transmitted and received. Right here's a look at the other side of the board with the antenna. You can see this metal box. That's where the microwaves are generated and received. Down here is an adjustment screw and another one over here. I don't see any potentiometers or trimmers 
on either of these boards, so more than likely the calibration is done with these two screws. Over here on the other board, on the opposite side of the LCD display, is an MSP 430F413 Texas Instruments microcontroller. And right here, connected to the antenna, is the small preamp board. You can see the capacitor right over here. You want to be very careful if you own one of these radar guns because it could be easily damaged if you drop it. And guys, that is it. It's definitely worth the hundred bucks if you're looking for a radar speed gun. Thanks for watching.